1 Kings Chapter 4 So King Solomon was king over all Israel. And these were the princes which he had, Azariah the son of Zadok the priest, Elahoraph and Ahiah, the sons of Shisha, scribes, Jehoshaphat the son of Ahilud, the recorder. And Benaiah the son of Jehoiada was over the host, and Zadok and Abiathar were the priests. And Azariah the son of Nathan was over the officers, and Zabad the son of Nathan was principal officer, and the king's friend. And Ahishar was over the household, and Adoniram the son of Abda was over the tribute. And Solomon had twelve officers over all Israel, which provided victuals for the king and his household, each man his month in a year made provision. And these are their names, the son of Hur, in Mount Ephraim, the son of Dakar, in Makaz, and in Shalbim, and Beth Shemesh, and Elan Beth Enon. The son of Hesed, in Arubath, to him pertain Sikho, and all the land of Heper. The son of Abinadab, in all the region of Dor, which had to Foth the daughter of Solomon to wife. Bana the son of Ahilud, to him pertain Tanak and Megiddo, and all Bethshean, which is by Zartana beneath Jezreel, from Bethshean to abel even unto the place that is beyond Jachnium. The son of Geber, in ramath Jalid, to him pertain the towns of Yer the son of Manasseh, which are in Gilead, to him also pertain the region of Argob, which is in Bashan, threescore great cities with walls and brass and bars. Ahinadab the son of Edo had Mahanaim. Ahamaz was in Naphtali, he also took Basmath the daughter of Solomon to wife. Baana the son of Hushai was in Asher and in Aloth. Jehoshaphat the son of Parua, in Issachar. Shimei the son of Elah, in Benjamin. Geber the son of Uri was in the country of Gilead, in the country of Sihon king of the Amorites, and of Og king of Bashan, and he was the only officer which was in the land. Judah and Israel were many, as the sand which is by the sea in multitude, eating and drinking, and making merry. And Solomon reigned over all kingdoms from the river unto the land of the Philistines, and unto the border of Egypt, they brought presents, and served Solomon all the days of his life. And Solomon's provision for one day was thirty measures of fine flour, and threescore measures of meal. Ten fat oxen, and twenty oxen out of the pastures, and an hundred sheep, beside hearts, and roebucks, and fallow deer, and fatted fowl. For he had dominion over all the region on this side the river, from Tifsa even to Azza, over all the kings on this side the river, and he had peace on all sides round about him. And Judah and Israel dwelt safely, every man under his vine and under his fig tree, from Dan even to Beersheba, all the days of Solomon. And Solomon had forty thousand stalls of horses for his chariots, and twelve thousand horsemen. And those officers provided victual for King Solomon, and for all that came unto King Solomon's table, every man in his month, they lacked nothing. Barley also and straw for the horses and dromedaries brought they unto the place where the officers were, every man according to his charge. And God gave Solomon wisdom and understanding exceeding much, and largeness of heart, even as the sand that is on the seashore. And Solomon's wisdom excelled the wisdom of all the children of the east country, and all the wisdom of Egypt. For he was wiser than all men, than Ethan the Ezrahite, and Haman, and Chalcol, and Darda, the sons of Mahal, and his fame was in all nations round about. And he spake three thousand proverbs, and his songs were a thousand and five. And he spake of trees, from the cedar tree that is in Lebanon even unto the hyssop that springeth out of the wall, he spake also of beasts, and of fowl, and of creeping things, and of fishes. And there came of all people to hear the wisdom of Solomon, from all kings of the earth, which had heard of his wisdom.